Okay, hey guys, my name is Savvy Black, and my friend here, if Miss Smile, mm -hmm. and Daddy, and... I need back after like four months. Finally back. It feels four months, but it feels like a year. It feels like a two years straight. Yeah, you're gonna have to make a good apology video for not showing up or telling anybody why you left for like four months. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. But, he has told everybody that. He has told everybody that you're gonna, you can try to upload more and, and try to like get more details, which just never did. Yeah, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna try harder, more. I'm gonna try to be better, more my videos from now on and upload more consistently and you know apologize to everyone i lost contact with and didn't tell I, it took me like it took me like uh, three months to get contact with you yeah you know what hold on Debbie, this isn't really working like there's so many people in the background of your video of your of your sound uh that's my mom she's still like doing therapy she's a therapist Okay, but why is she so like loud? Should I be in our own room or something? Our rooms aren't that far apart. I'm closing that door. Okay. Door is open. Okay. Do you still hear her, man? No. Why was your door open? Okay. Huh? Why was your door open? It was cracked. That's the thing, though. There's like people with right away. I still kind of hear in the distance now. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. She really is loud, man. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Since Savvy and Dabby's video call, audio call, it sounds a bit bad. Today we're doing what if we're in my academia? Yeah. Oh. Oh, is that where I speak now? Um. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Tell okay, us your so quirk. Oh yeah. So um, our quirks we picked this out uh, like last night. Um, we took a while, especially for in my pal Infamous here. Uh. For me, my quirk is cartoon. Basically, I can create objects and with this cartoony, like, you know, draw, a drawing, cartoony, doodles, or whatever. Now, it has to be detailed, though. I can't just make a block or something and call it a robot, and it'll become a robot in real life. That's not how it works. And we also have some drawbacks. Uh, for instance, for me, I turn into a cartoon character. And the problem with me turning to a cartoon character is you pour a large amount of water on me and turn into a smudge and you can see like ink coming off of me and my powers temporarily don't work anymore uh which is my biggest flaw um in my powers i also um i hope this is okay it's just to add this little small detail to my powers it's not it's nothing big infamous but i was thinking like uh well, I already mentioned how I'm sort of invulnerable, but I'm still able to get hurt because, like, you, it's harder to kill me, but you can still hurt me. I mentioned that last night, but um, I'm thinking maybe like running, like the Road Runner, time from time, you know. Leaving. I just thought I just thought it was more like uh, depending on, on some on depending on the type of way they're trying to hit you and do much damage. Like if they're trying sort to of. squish you or something, you can't like you do the yeah like that thing, like that. That's why I mean. If they're trying to sit you on the fire, fire, or like cut you, then that works. Yeah, yeah, like that will not work. Yeah, but um, you can still beat me though. It's still easy to yeah. beat me. Yeah. Now that that um, is playing his quirk, it's now for my quirk. Mm -hmm. So basically, my quirk is basically a combination of Kevin Eleven and Dawson Row from It's My Second Son. So basically, anything I touch with my hands, I can absorb it, absorb it and become it. So if I absorb concrete, I can turn my body into concrete or shoot concrete. Just control it. But it's the same, it works the same way as it does in It's My Second Son. Where I can only, I have a, still have a limit. I need to absorb it, absorb more to recharge myself. And just so, you, so I don't like to do the BS where I just keep absorbing entire stone building. It can't be that big. Just be smaller. Mm. But the only way I can really absorb a blood or something if it's water or air. But I'm not going to do air since air is too OP. Yeah. You just literally kill everyone in sight. Just take their air away. They can't breathe anymore. I'm just, I'm just like sucking up everybody's air. I'm just Kirby. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. That would be OP as so. hell. But um... Yeah, now we got, I guess, our quirks and limits out of the way, I think. Yeah, let's start the story. So in this story, okay. we're, both, we're both American. 
Mm -hmm. But after and, uh, we're in kindergarten, we find out about our quirks. Me and Dabby are yeah. somewhat friends, but don't get along that well, since Dabby just appears one or two times without telling anybody. Mm -hmm. that's he basically, that, he basically, that, one kid, he basically that one kid that shows up late to a class with her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my um, goodness, what is that? Tell your little brother to be quiet. Be quiet, yeah, well. He's... Yeah. And, um... Pretty much... Um... I guess... Wait... So... I get, we're we're you, going you, to, you, I don't to Japan. Plot. Huh? Yeah, you, you already forgot the basic plot. We forgot the basic plot? You forgot it. Oh, crap. Okay. Like you were saying, we after we get to know each other a little bit. But one day, when we were both around like seven or eight, I move away and go to Japan. And Dobby, I mean, I don't know what he does. I just I just don't talk to him anymore. Or seven. Yeah, well, I become like a ghost. I just bury myself in school and stuff. You know, mostly focusing on my quirk and powerful stuff, trying to become get, a good so hero. It's basically going to twelve hour classes a day. Mm hmm. I probably yeah, because I wanna wanna like grow in being better at using my quirk, and in order to do that, I have to take a bunch of art classes because my quirk obviously involves art, you know, as yeah. stated before. Or I just like try, try I just try to figure out how to, a way how to make more money or get my allowance higher since I need to buy more materials. Yeah. But when I go to Japan, I see I go to this one school, aka Caution Deku School. The first thing I realized, the school's even more racist than America. Like that was like it was like Caution was so racist if you think about it. Like twenty percent of the population is crazy, that's basically basically erased by then. Mm. Sheesh. Yeah, so like you can already see how that's going to go. Yeah, so I actually hate Kachon. Yeah. Yeah. I understand reasonably so Deku. too. I try to be friends mm -hmm. with Deku. It's very difficult since he won't stop crying. Yeesh. For the Deku. longest time my sister oh no, that's a funny story. My longest time my sister thought my that Deku's quick was crying or something. Hmm. Okay, so I'm so, so like, I guess, is there more to that? Like, yeah, but, yeah. So over time, I become Deku's friend. I beat up, I fight caution a little bit. I still don't, don't mm -hmm. get it. Then what is your brother doing? Is he moaning, moaning, moaning? Oh my god! Yeah, bro. Is your, like he's like, he right next to the, like right next to the like the like the mic or something, trying to do this on purpose. So I become friend with Deku. I hate Kachan and everything else. For time, I get closer friends with Deku. I sometimes remember Dabby, but not that much. And time moves normally until until I'm 16 or 15. Look at what the exact age where UA trials are. Or 15 or 16. But when I turn 15 or 16, I try for UA. That's where I meet Happy Black again. And Deku like really confused first because we act like we know each other, but Deku has no idea what's going on. And when Daddy Black comes back, we'll explain his origin story, what he did over the years. Which was... Okay, so... Um, what I've been doing over the years, um... We never really went over what I was doing, I think, but... I guess I'm gonna have to improvise that, this is improv, improv basically. Um... Pretty much, over the years, I've been training, working myself, pushing myself harder. Um, there was a time where, you know, I was going through a great deal of stuff. You know, lacking on my slacking on my work, and one day I looked in a mirror. And I was like, I need to do something with my life. I need to become better, but better, because. Uh, and I just tell them, uh, you know, uh, I was getting a lot of bad grades. I was I was weak for a, a good period of time, and well, you know, basically I just was the worst person, the version of myself I could be. And when I looked in my mirror, when I looked in the mirror, I decided to be better. I trained to the bone, physically, mentally. I get, um, you know, got better at art over time. At the point, I was really bad at it. And you know, there was a point where you know I became probably one of the best in my class. And so, when you see me, this might sound like okay. This might be a bit egotistical, but like when you see me, I might be. I'm not trying to stroke my to stroke my ego but like i'll probably be a bit more 
um, I'm not gonna say muscular strapping because I'm trying, I'm working harder to be a better version of myself. So this is just something I, I see myself trying to do. So, but yeah. I was, about to, I, was about to try, I was trying not to laugh because you said you're a cartoon, so basically you just you look like you drawn a you have a drawn a six pack. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That, oh my god! I just thought about that. That would actually be pretty. Yeah. Oh my. Imagine I take yeah. off my shirt and like it looks like a drawn on six pack. Yeah. Just... But I didn't. I didn't forget how my body how my body changed. Throughout the years, I gained somewhat of resistance my, with my hands. Did so my hands feel like how cartoons? Hands are more resistant to fire since the explosion. Mine are more resistant to also fire, electricity, and stuff like that. I okay. also I also got slight got taller. I'm like I'm like yeah, I'm basically not some real version of me. I'm five nine. Hmm. I I'm also not that also in real life I'm not that fit, but this is UA, so I'm I'm so let's just say I'm buff. Mm. Okay. So I'm not a super but I'm a little bit buffer than him. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, and, and and by the way, I don't know about one for I don't know about that. And neither do you. Yeah, none of us do. No, I'm just yeah. I, no. The entire time on the way here, I'm trying to convince Deku to go home. Yeah, me personally, I don't know. I don't, I don't really care about Deku. Like me, I'm just trying to do my own. Cause like, even in real life, I'm pretty much a loner. So in this, I'm just. I mean, you'll catch me making jokes here and there. With some people, I don't even know, but at the, but at the same time, like, for the most part, I'm a loner in this, a, a bit of an introvert, for the most part. Yeah. I, yeah, right. I'll leave yeah, you talking. Okay, but hold on, let's continue with the U8 test, because we're, because the video's almost like 13 minutes long. Right. So we go to, we go to take our U8 test. On the way in there, I sit with you. Because some somehow Deku got sit, got seated with Karchan. I just tapping your shoulder like don't touch it, don't talk to that spiky hair yellow kid. He's a racist. Mm. It's crazy okay. people. Eesh. I'm. He wants to I mean, the person to kill himself. He's that bad. Wow. I'd be like, wow, man. Like that guy kind of sounds like a jerk. I actually, and knowing me now. <sighs> Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Know me a while back. I'm basing this off of me a while back. I try I to go over the Kachan. I look at him, and you know, I for some reason I pull out a cartoon. I well, I draw it first. I draw like a carrot. Then I like lean over next to Kachan, you know, well from behind him, and I'm like, you know, what's up, Doc? And <laughs> like. It's just in the most comedic name. Yeah, tell you. You're telling me this guy's yeah, you nothing about like, just rabbit yeah. season as he causes sparks. Ah. Uh, I'm like, if, I'll be like, race. I really? Nah, racist season. Just basically calling him out. Like, right there. Like, and Lee, like, not... and Lee, like calls you both out. Mm hmm. <laughs> like, both of you should have talked about. Yeah. Hold on. Wait, hold on, what was that? I couldn't hear you for a second. Uh, like, Lita just pops out and says, You two, be quiet. I'm like, Ooh. Ugh. Oh, ooh, the, the yellow haired kid's telling me to be quiet. You're the one with the. Uh, um, crap! I just had a perfect comeback for that. Never mind. I just sit down and accept defeat because I don't know what to say in that moment. And then when I sit down, I'm like, Dang it, I just came up with a perfect comeback for that. And but I, I don't have that the chance to see you know. After, but, uh, I, after I do an artist, I did average. I, I messed up in math and stuff like math and history, but I did everything good and everything else. Yeah. I, let's just assume you did. You barely passed anything. You, you said you're not that good at math, any, any, anything at school. Well, actually, recently, in recent years, I'd say I improved. I say for a while, I, I'm still pretty bad at uh, with, um, right now, English, but everything yeah, else is I just, pretty I just, Because I just assume most, like, the hero, t like, the hero tests were just basic, uh, basic stuff. Like, you learn school and basic yeah. hero things. Yeah. I'm gonna go with that, since they never like, really like, explain like, 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 if you see a hero... And a and a baby if there's something some debris fall on them, who do you save? Obviously the baby. Yeah. Me personally, I see them fall 
well, I just, I mean, with m with my personal capability, I, I, I have the ability to save both. Because I mean, think about it this way: I can, yeah. I can literally draw a, a freaking bouncy house or whatever, or whatever, or whatever they wait. They're falling, right? Yeah, but hold on. That was just, that was just like this was just example. It's not a real question. Oh right, yeah. Oh yeah. Anyways, I mean, to get yeah. back to the video, it's only like like I recording almost fifteen minutes, but I started a little late. It was probably like sixteen or seventeen minutes. Right. Okay. And when we start the test, you see Deku. We're still like he's really going to go through with this. You asked me what he, what I meant. I'm like, oh yeah, he's quirkless. Hmm. I'm like, man, this kid's quirkless, and he's still going out there. Man, he has lots of good. I'm just like, I'm kind of commending the kid. Like I mean, I, I'm like I agree. Like he got some type of, of debilitation, but this is robots. Um, yeah, like, people like cop chant and like will kill you. So yeah, I mean, hmm, I mean, like I'm gonna ask: like, Is the kid smart? Because like, and me personally, growing up, um, basically, he's basically. I'm gonna make a reference to American superhero. That you don't nah, that that's that's American in my character name. I'm gonna make a reference to him. It's basically Batman, but he learned every superhero weakness. Hmm. I'm like, okay then. Well, I was actually gonna make, um, I was actually gonna make a reference towards Batman. Um, yeah, he just, has, he just had a book on him with like 40 ways to defeat Kachan. Right. Well, I was gonna be like, well, me growing up on stuff like comics, you know, reading Superman, Iron Man, Batman. I mean, yeah, the, yeah, I was just. Yeah, I always okay. just assumed that my cricket take me up take place in like real world. Just a hundred years later, where people just started getting powers. Mm, yeah. Because Shazam was like because Shazam had Harry Potter because because of Harry Potter was first made before Superman, which was like the first ever real superhero. Right. But you know, uh, what I'd say next would be um, wait, hold on. we're still okay. We're still seated next to each other, right? No, we're in a we're in a UA. We're doing it. We're starting to start, start the physical part of the test. We're outside now. Right. We're just right. stretching. Stretching. Also, like I'm stretching. Um. So like, uh, uh, my skin. I would say I'm I'm trying to get prepared. So my skin starts to become white. So is my hair. And yeah, like, I just pull out and I just pull out a portable charger just to juice myself up. Yeah. Uh, electricity around me now. You can notice um, me becoming sort of like a 2D version of me. Uh, like uh, for some reason, a bow tie pops on me. I I get this, um, you know, I don't know, this cartoony outfit. Like you know, uh, I just picture, I just pictured the mask. I don't know why I just pictured the mask. Oh, <laughs> um, and midway well, through have, your like, midway through your explanation, you're like, there's no real contest in real battle. Mm. Yeah, and everybody just runs. Runs. Everyone just runs in. Um, so I leave, you, I leave you behind. The first thing I do is just like turn into a lightning bolt and, and charge into a robot and just blow it up. Mm. Something I do is I have some leftover drawings I draw pre before we came in there. So, you know, I take these, I take what I already draw so that way it wouldn't take a long time for me to draw them as you know i'm going in there and suddenly like i throw a piece of paper with the drawing that i made on it so i'm taking the ink and suddenly a giant very detailed transformer looking like robot almost anime styled you know just comes in it's a bigger robot than the other one so it's just like it's just attacking them all it's just you know rushing at him you know um, yeah. destroying them left and right, cutting them in half. It has yeah, a, it's just destroying them. The rest. Okay. Yeah, well, you're just doing that. I turned into a robot, like I said, and as a lightning bolt and blow it up. After that, I already used up most of my electricity. So instead, I absorbed the smoke from the robot that I blew up. Just start using that smoke to blow up more robots and gain the smoke from the robots that blew up and etc. I even do a comet drop. I jump, go in the air and land. With my smoke and, and fall like a meteor and, and cause a huge shockwave. Mm -hmm. So, and for as for me, I'm just like looking at you, and I just nod my head with a smirk on my face, and I'm like, 
dope. And at and right after you do that, I begin to run up a building. Well, not run up, but like, well, I mean, yeah, kind of run up. I'm like latching onto it, and then um, immediately yeah, yeah, I yeah, picture, yeah, picturing you like doing a monkey thing, but you're like jump on a rock, jump, jump on a tree, and grab it on, grab it again, jump, jump, jump in again, and grab it again. I'm exactly. Like that. Yeah. So um, um, so once I reach the top, I flip off. And then I take a piece of paper and, um, you know, mid-fall, um, a giant cloud-like thing, like, just completely, just completely, you know, comes into one, it comes at my aid. I land on top of it, and a giant rainbow shoots down on a, on a bot right underneath it. So basically, I draw the rainbow that came from I, the cloud. I call, I call hacks and leave. Midway through our test, we see a giant zero pointer. We're like, oh damn. Hmm. I'm like, I'm gonna mm. fight that thing. But before I can do anything, I just see Midoriya start running in that direction. Like, what is he doing? Wait, I was like, I got to stop him. Uh -huh. Yeah, I told you, he doesn't have a point when you stop him. Yeah, I'm just like, wait, hold on, bro, bro, I thought you said he didn't have a quirk, how is he jumping that high in the air? I'm just like, uh, they like, I don't know what they, just him, they just seen one shot it. Yeah, and like, we see him, I'm like, whoa, man, like, bro, like, were you lying to me earlier? Because like, that, 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 either he is on some steroids or he has a quirk. And like, I just know he's either, Yeah, I just say, after seeing that, like, either he's been bullshitting, like, entire school for like, 10 years. Or we just get some oh, okay. brand new quirk. Somehow. And I'm looking I'm looking at him. I'm looking at him. He's he's approaching the ground. He's approaching it fast. At first I thought he was just gonna leap back down. But like I'm noticing like his arms are flopping in the air, his legs are flopping in the air. So then my eyes widen, my cartoonish eye, my Pac-Man eyes widen. And you just you can go like, out of your sockets. You're like, you just they go just go out of your sockets. Yeah, like, like that Looney Tune type crap. And then I run, and then I'm like, I got him, I got him, I'm running in a circle. I, I, I'm running in a circle, I'm like, I got him, I got him, I got him. And then, you know, we, we notice him approaching the ground even faster, and like, and so right through your hands. Uh -huh. you try, like, you try, like, you do like a full, you try to do a football catch, but instead he just goes right through the hole in your hands. Right. So like. And I try to catch him too, but I turn into smoke. See if I just go try to go smoke, but I, I go too far and just like, go right through him. Hmm. Yeah. Then Yuraka just saves him. Yeah, so like similar to the thing, she slaps him in the face and he's like, he's kind of just like, he, he floats in midair and then he flop and then he falls out. And then I'm just like, I don't got him. I don't got him. Eh. I got him. Yeah. We both uh, got up, check up on him and we're like, I could instead of instead of like it's not licking his broken arms and stuff. I'm like, how long? How long have you been bullshitting Karchan about having a quirk? I need to know. I need to know how I can make jokes about this. Me, I'm like, damn, Doc. That's uh, okay. So I want to know what are you on? Are you on some All Might pills or something? Like, cause like that that was insanely OP. And I was just looking at him. He's moaning on the. Ground. He is barely alive. And I'm like, hey. Are you awake? I'm just poking- I grab a stick and I'm poking him with it. I'm like- I just- I'm like, do I need to- do I need to be- do I, do I need to do electroshock therapy or something? And I just like- I just like rub my hands together like, clear. Clear. <laughs> um, right before I do that, somebody- it, an old lady walks up and is like, Don't you dare electrocute him. Mm, I'm like, and hey, she, wait, I know her. She's a recovery girl. And I'm like, I don't know her. She's just some, she, she look, she's just some weird old lady. <laughs> oh, yeah, so she like, like the minute she does, the minute she, she, she kisses Deku and heals him, you're like, oh, pervert. Yeah, I'm, I'm just like, ew, like, ah, uh, pedal Amber Alert. <laughs> oh, and like, I make gag faces. Yeah, like, she, she ends up killing Deku. We end up going home, hmm. and away there, I'm like, interrogating Deku, I'm like, Okay, where'd you get a power? How the hell did you do that mm -hmm. super jump? Where's your plus ultra energy jink? And I'm, I'm assuming Deku 
he just um now me personally I, i'm not gonna say i'm right there with you guys i'm gonna i'm gonna bring myself into this in, in a second but first i'm gonna yeah. be like thank you I, I think you're just like you just you just join our conversation you're like just following us now yeah i'm just like stalking you i'm just like i'm just like in the background i'm like like i'm just listening in i don't think that you would tell you anything because he went a while without telling almost his own mom so like well i don't think she even knows now but like um you know so like i i don't think he would tell you right now he did he did tell caution he was a douche true but hmm, maybe I feel like but you think there's a bullshit lie that's like close to it. I think you said the same thing Kachan did. You told me the same thing Kachan did. You did talk Kachan, but not you. Uh, okay. I got a power no, I and that's how. Mm -hmm. So, me personally, I'm just like, I'm sitting on the ground. I, I mean, I'm not on the ground, but I'm sitting, I take a seat and I'm just like listening, you know, as you guys walk. And I'm just. And I'm not, I don't hear everything, so I don't hear anything about the all for one part or whatever you brought up. All, not all for one, um, one for all. So oh, he doesn't tell us about all for one. He just tells us he got a quirk. He just can't tell us how. All right. Okay. So he can't tell you how, but I'm just like I don't hear anything about that. I don't hear it at all still. So like after like I I'm after take a gift this bullshit excuse. We go home. And we wait for you to but we're gonna end the video here because the video is like 27 minutes long. Oof. Okay. If you guys want to see more of this, want to see more of the Return of Dappy Black, then tell us in the comments below. We're now gonna end the video here, so peace out and bye. Bye.